for these, you want to just go through step by step and figure out which one uh, you can see is the most stable. Of course, you'd want your periodic table handy. So when you go through, you're seeing what's up. So let's start with neon. Neon, that has atomic number 10. That means there's 10 protons. And then there must be 8 neutrons. Well, in this case, we're not that excited because we should have protons equal to neutrons. Does that make sense? Whenever the atomic number is 10 or less. That doesn't mean this is, this doesn't mean it's definitely radioactive, but it's more likely that it is. Uh, we prefer it with the protons equal to the neutrons. So, probably not A. We'll see if we can find a better one. Let's go on to sulfur. Sulfur has atomic number 16. So that means there's 16 protons, 16 neutrons. Uh, whenever you're between 10 and 20 for the atomic numbers, uh, you need both uh, the protons and neutrons to be even and equal to ensure stability. So we really like B because protons and neutrons are equal. They're even numbers, uh, which fits for between the 10 and 20 range of Z, the atomic number. So we really like them B. Let's go on to C and just double check everything. C is thorium. Thorium, uh, if you look on your periodic table, has atomic number 90. Uh, we have an issue with that one. Right, it's too high. It's above 83. So it means there's more than 83 protons. Whenever you get above 83 protons, you're pretty much guaranteeing, or for all the known elements, you're guaranteeing that it's radioactive to some degree, more or less, but some degree radioactive. And that's 90, so we don't like C. D, barium. <coughs> barium has 56 as its atomic number, 56 protons. Since it's barium-123, that would make 67 uh, neutrons. So that's okay, but it's not ideal because we have an even number of protons, odd number of neutrons. So it's an even-odd mix. Remember, stable nucleides uh, tend to be even-evens. Uh, there are some examples where they're not even-evens, but they're uh, pretty rare. So. D is not winning us over. The one that looks like the best case scenario is B, sulfur 32. <coughs> Any questions on these? So you want to use those general rules uh, and go through them, remembering the magic numbers and all those things that they can help you find the one that is most the most likely candidate. <coughs>